me to Koyashi. How is everybody doing? And it is nearly Halloween. And with that, we are getting Halloween returns and unique equipment twos for the Halloween Mimi, Misogi, and Joker. So today we're going to have a look at those three characters with their unique equipment twos, see what they have been given, if they are any good. First, we'll quickly just have a look at the Halloween Returns banner here. We have got this limited characters Halloween Returns banner. This is where you could get Halloween Kyoka if you wanted her. She is on this banner. So, I think she, before we even look at her skills, I think she's a decent character to have, but maybe not worth summoning on. You're not the top priority on this banner. Tomo Halloween, I think, is the top priority on this banner. I definitely have missed her on a fire physical team. So probably the top pick for this banner if you did want to summon on it. Misaki Halloween here, good for PvP. Nice to have. Not really worth the jewels though at the moment. Nervo 2 was good in PvP. She does have a team in the current clown battle we're about to have, but not. That doesn't justify summoning for her on this banner, I don't think. And then Samugi and uh, Kaori are the lowest priority on this banner. So Let's go in there and have a look at the three little lyrical Halloween characters and what they have been given with their unique equipment. So, where shall we start? Over here, with the Halloween Misogi. Now, Halloween Misogi is a free-to-play character. You can grind her out from that story event, which is permanently available. She does physical damage to all enemies on her Union Burst. On her skill 1, she does physical damage to all enemies in range, since the 300 range, and lowers enemies' physical attack. Here is her skill 2, and this is what has been buffed with this unique equipment too. Currently, it just deals physical damage to all enemies in range. But with her unique equipment 2, that has been buffed. So here is her unique equipment 2. You can see here, raises her hit points, her physical attack, Physical defense and magical defense if you level it up. Also, boosting the passive for this skill too. So, let's take a look at what that does here. So, for Misogi, her unique equipment 2 now greatly, with the unique equipment 2, it now greatly increases your physical attack power. Additionally, all enemies within range, depending on the third enemy in front of you, will be stunned for a long time. Five seconds, I believe that is, and will receive heavy physical damage. So, her AoE damage has gone up from 1.2 to 2.8 times physical attack, and that is a 300 range. And she has been given new effects a self physical attack buff, which is 9690, that's for 18 seconds, and a five second stun, which can go through shields and is applied before damage. So there we go, that is the free to play Halloween Misogi. He's definitely better for PvP now, but not really putting out a huge amount of damage. A budget physical AoE DPS for fire, a little bit of a buff for her, but it's not absolutely massive. So let me know what you think about Misogi. Let's move into the next of the little lyrical, who is just above her here. We have got Mimi in here for her new equipment too so quickly let's just have a look at her skills here union burst deals physical damage to all enemies in range and the damage here is a bit bigger than what misogi has by the looks of it and misogi's is a bomb which takes five seconds to fire off so that's a little bit um different but that's a bit of misogi anyway we're talking about mimi here union base here physical damage to all enemies in range her skill one again physical damage to all allies in range there is very very simple and her skill 2 here massively boosts all allies physical attack but in exchange their physical defense and magical defense are reduced so let's jump up over here then look at her unique equipment too here as we can see the physical attack physical crit rate and boosts this skill too so now on this skill too, it hugely increases the physical attack power of all allies, greatly increases physical crit, it slightly increases the damage from critical physical attacks. The effects is only for herself, well it's kind of, she 
what she does is she gives these buffs here, as you can see on the screen, um, to herself. And they are uh, for 180 seconds. They are permanent, so they will stack up. But she gives the same buffs to the allies, but they're only for 18 seconds. So they do not stack up. On top of this, she recovers a medium amount of TP for herself and a small amount of TP for allies. That is um, 100 TP, I believe it is, for herself. Where is this? 150 for herself and 50 for allies. And when, uh, but then on, on top of this, she also still has got this reduction in the physical and magical defense of all allies by a small amount. So before she did have a bit of a buff, the buff now is increased a little bit. She's also been given new effects, physical crits, physical crit damage, and this TP to herself and to allies, which is quite a lot she's been given here on this unique equipment too. So Halloween Mimi, it also has got a team in the current clan battle. She is, at least that shows that she is competitive. She could be okay in PvP too, maybe, probably a better AOE physical DPS for fire than the Misogi. If these sleep buffs don't get you killed, I don't think maybe you're going to have to worry too much about that. She's a permanent unit. And there is another banner out for which does have her on, but you need to use pay jewels for that if you really wanted to try and get it. Otherwise, you're going to just have to hope she appears randomly. So there we go. That is the Halloween Mimi. Looking pretty good. Used in Clown Battle in one of the teams this month. So... That shows he has been given a decent little buff there with this unique equipment too. So let me know what you think about the Halloween Mimi. Now for Kyoka, I don't have it, so we're going to have to pop over here to have a little look at her. Union Burst here lowers enemies' magical defense, boosts allies' magical attack. Skill 1 here, again, just boosts the largest, highest magical attack. Allies magical attack there. This is without the unique equipment. With the unique equipment, it's exactly the same, just the numbers are a bit higher. And here is a skill two. And basically, it was just a very old character. It boosts all allies magical attack. So if we jump over here, we can have a look at her unique equipment. And you can see here that, if we just quickly get rid of that, there we go. It boosts her physical defense, her magical attack power, and her magical defense power. On top of that, boosting that skill too, which was a very, very basic, into this, which now greatly increases magical attack power of our eyes, moderately increases magical crit hits, and slightly increases the damage dealt by magical crit hits. Also greatly increases the action speed of all allies, which is pretty good actually. To give her uh, action speed, we did say that Fire Magic needed an action speed buffer, but it is only 150. So, with this unique equipment to her magical attack, the buff to magical attack goes from 5 to 10 times level, so it's now 3,330 there. It's a small number, but it is permanent so it will be stacking up over the fight so by the end of the fight it could be pretty substantial new effects as we've said have been added there all allies magical crit buff magical crit damage four percent 60 for the crit buff again these are permanent so even though the numbers might be a little small they will be adding up by the end of the fight and all allies uh, speed buff 150 not the 200 that we have seen before. So what that potentially could mean is that we are going to have another proper speed buffer for the Fire Magic team coming up pretty soon. So this Kyoka, the team, she also has got a team in this month's clan battle. She is currently the best speed buffer for Fire Magic. And like we said, it's only 150%. So it is likely we're going to get to 200% at some time. Maybe you would like to perhaps just wait for them to be released instead of summoning for Halloween Kyoka now if you don't have her. 
buff stack, which is pretty good, and she's probably a good fit to help with Worm on this biomagical team. All in all, pretty good. She is getting some use now, which is nice to see. So, there we go. That is the Halloween Little Lyrical, if we can get Mimi up here. The Halloween Little Lyrical, Unique Equipment 2s. Pretty good. They are actually being used. That's what Unique Equipment should be doing, making these characters usable again. Especially in Clan Battle PvP, all the areas where they were used before. So let me know what you think of these three characters. If you do, try to summon for them. Good luck on that. I am Takori Ashi. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all again for the video. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, hey.